Hi, I'm Lainey and welcome to Lainey Sips. Today I'm going to be continuing my series on great holiday tea gifts and my gift today is actually a tea so I'm going to be reviewing this tea at the same time. The tea is Pete's Coffee and Teas Assam Golden Tip. Um, I recommend it as a gift for several reasons, one of which is that it comes in this awesome tin, also because I think it's a very universal, very accessible tea that a lot of people are going to like. In any case, I found this tea at my local shop. I bought it, brought it home, gave it a sniff. I was impressed that the nose wasn't too strong, but it was a very pleasantly fruity nose. I had a look at the leaves, a uh, small leaf size, dark brown with a lot of golden tip as the name would suggest. And I infused it. Um, the nose on the liquor is decidedly malty, maybe with a bit of burnt caramel in, um, in the back. It's definitely a sweet nose, and um, the liquor itself mm, is really quite tasty. It's incredibly smooth. Um, you it can you get the biscuity malty notes that you expect from an Assam, uh, but there's also a slight sweetness there. Um, the finish can be a little bitter and astringent. Um, that may work for some people, particularly if you take milk and sugar in your tea, but I found that you can control that with steep time. If you keep the steep time to around um, three minutes, you, you can avoid that if you like to take drink your tea plain or you prefer it uh, to not have that bitter note at the very, very end. Um, I like this Assam for a number of reasons. I'm not always crazy about Assams because I think that most manufacturers and retailers expect people to add milk and sugar and those two things can cover a multitude of sins so there's a lot of undrinkable Assam out there um, if you don't add milk and sugar to it and this is not one of those Assams you can actually drink it on its own and it's quite tasty I think it's an excellent breakfast tea I can definitely feel the caffeine a lot of room room there um, great with a big old greasy breakfast for clearing the palate probably also quite good with a sticky pastry of some sort again clears that palate off and gives you a little bit of balance with it with the with the slightly bitter note at the very very end so I think it's a very good tea I think it's a tea that most households would appreciate. Uh, people who like their tea with milk and sugar are going to like this tea a lot. People um, who don't like milk and sugar are probably also going to enjoy this tea as well. Um, I got this at my local store in Evanston, Illinois, which is just north of Chicago, and they do have a practice of giving a free cup of coffee or tea when you buy loose leaf tea, or for that matter, coffee beans uh, to take home. So that might be a nice little offer for you in your neighborhood. They, again, they have a great selection of tea and if you don't have a specialist tea shop in your in your neighborhood but you do have a Pete's I'd suggest going over there and seeing what they have I think you'll be impressed all right well thank you very much for joining me today and we'll talk to you soon bye bye